Hello guys, welcome back for the today's video. I'm going to organize around the house. We're gonna do a little small project and then I'm going to share with you how we made our compost bin and I'm going to share some of the things that I got done this week in the kitchen. I bought some dividers and I'm going to take the advantage of it now. I'm going to organize some of the drawers. these dividers are adjustable I'm just trying to come up with a way of folding that is easy to fold so I can just get on the roll and I can get it done quickly finally I'm getting around to cut out all those tags as well I love this IKEA kitchen towels and the last time when I stuck up on them I was able to find in two colors so I have some red stripey ones and some of them are blue so I can tell them apart easily which one is for the dishes which one is for the cleaning and wiping the hands So it's already given, I'm going to create two rows separately for the towels. One is for the blue striped ones, the other one is for the red stripey ones. Okay, so I got these uh, uh, top five of hearts. I'm gonna put in a joker on the top. Okay, now we're gonna shuffle it. You're really shuffling it. You're really shuffling it. And we split it around. Yeah, there, that's the center. Now this should be the joker. What? <laughs> How did you do that? <laughs> Seriously? I can really shuffle it. I don't see any suspicious when you do that. I'm missing something. <laughs> it has nothing with its looks. Oh. Do you see it? Oh. Do you? Oh, you're sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> After a short break, I'm getting back to the organizing, but my kids like to come out in the kitchen and just sharing things here and there. 
so these are just little wipes that we use for our hands and just little bags that i like to pack food in there and also i have these bags these vacuum bags that i like to freeze food in there and just prepare food and they came in this handy box i'm just going to fold down the top part and i'm going to use this as an organizer in the drawer because it's a perfect size and it just holds it together because i got different sizes so i'm just going to keep the box to organize them Things are scattering around in this drawer as we open and close them so these dividers will help me to keep everything in its place. I'm just gonna give a quick wipe to this drawer. The second drawer really doesn't need any further organizing I'm just going to wipe it out but the bottom one we keep a lot of things in there that I want to switch around a little bit it's like all the grinder and the Vitamix and all those things so the Vitamix is used by my husband every single morning but we don't have a deep drawer that's the only one that fits the top the bottom one and he has a difficult time to bend over he has some lower back issues so I was able to fit this thing up there <laughs> on the upper shaft so he's going to be very happy about this and I'm going to bring all the supplements down here where all this Vitamix was before and all the other things so that way I can swap these around and he doesn't have to bend over that much with his back that bothering him lately I got really excited about these dividers so I started to use them very intensely <laughs> and I used a lot so I wanted to categorize all those vitamins like we each of them can have a different slot for that and it's sort of actually separated the front part of the drawer a little bit it banded out so I had to take out two of them but on the end the three of them didn't bother the door I just want to let you know but if you put too much it can kind of sort of separate the door <laughs> you look like a minion <laughs> Okay, can you come for a sec? So I put the outlet in there, I'm just gonna connect that from the other side. Oh! <laughs> okay, if you can plug it in. There you go. What are you doing? It's done. <laughs> Are you sure? No? No, but I bring a flashlight. I don't see it. Oh, I see it. Got it. I'm trying. Ugh. Okay, got it. Find it. Find it. Mm -hmm. So Joad is working on to create uh, an outlet in this 
walk-in closet because I decided I'm going to bring in my computer and the desk and we're going to organize this area very well so we're going to bring it in first to see how the layout should be so I'm just going to try it out what layout ah. should work still figuring out the cabinets from ikea so now i decided i'm actually going to organize all of the homeschool supplies and books into the deeper cabinet and i just put them on top of each other so kind of they look like an armoire but everything is in one place so and uh, other cabinets went into the laundry room and we're going to store the shoes in there and we will see how it work out, but so far so good. My weakest point makes a world of difference. So oh, you make me strong. Pretty little thing. You're a diamond in the rough. Shining from within. Maybe I can find some cute knobs to it and that would add some more character to it. Ordering a cup of Okay, so I just grabbed my camera because I wasn't planning on to record today, but I started to do something that working really nice. So I started to organize my freezer. It was always a hot mess. And um, once I set a system, it was working, huh? Well, somewhat, but not really the way I wanted to. So now, with the zipper bags, guys, so I have some mold, silicone mold, that I like to use for the, the salsa from Costco, but it's sometimes we eat a lot, sometimes we don't eat that much. So I like to freeze them, and I just use the silicone molds. As you can see, the shape, it's kind of like a soap size. And then after that, I just put it into the sealed bag, and so that way they don't get freezed burn and this is a soup mix so this is what I like to put into a Hungarian chicken soup and some corn I got some zucchinis from my garden I have some broccoli and so I can organize the things like a file system so once I'm done and sealed everything I will get back and show you how far I got with this okay guys this is amazing i mean <laughs> i'm a big fan of this bag i mean i was before but now i'm even farther because i can reuse it so it's not like i'm going to just toss it out and then even if i wash this because this is just a regular seal pack uh, back and seal but these ones eventually as you keep resealing them they shrink so that way i can reuse them and i just love this file system and i get to see what in what's in there so i don't really have to label these these are very obvious you know so this is for smoothie and then so i'm going to make a row for the vegetables over here and i'm going to look into if i can find another divider here so i can put the smoothie mixes in that row and these small ones I and mean, look at guys <laughs> that's how much space i saved now so i'm still working on this area this is the fertilizer i need to find something for that because that is stinky um it's from banana peels it's really good for the plants though okay so i'm also going to prepare bags that have like kind of mixed vegetables so when i'm making soup i can just grab this bag and just pick from all kinds of sorts of vegetables so that's also just helping me to get more creative with the recipes because sometimes i forget to add some of the vegetables and the more is the better <laughs> So I'm just going to put these into one bag and that's just basically going to be a soup mixed vegetables. Oh 
泡面。Okay guys, the more I'm putting into these sealed bags, the better it looks. <laughs> so I started to separate actually the fruits in here because this is gonna be one load of smoothie. So this is gonna be a perfect amount that I can work with. So I'm going to make one row with that. And on this side, maybe I'm going to have more vegetables because we have more. So, but so far, this is how it looks like and I'm very happy with that. Okay, so I was doing a few other things, but I got back to this project and I have to tell you, I really love this so much. And the reason for that, because usually the back of these drawers is kind of like tilted, as you can see. So that way they kind of lean towards to that way. So I get to see what's in there. I don't have to put any writing on it. It's pretty obvious what's in there. So these are all the, um, what we use for snack or smoothie mixes and lemon and ginger. So something when we wanna create smoothies. And then over here, I've got the vegetables if I wanna make soup or some kind of side dish. So I'm going to move on to the top part to organize that a little bit more so I can see what exactly in there but this part guys I'm very happy it's so easy to see through what I have and I get to see the amounts it's kind of sort of like the same system than in my pantry with the jars I get to see the amount and I get to see what's in there because it's see-through so it's been amazing and they don't get the freeze burn at all because the air it's sucked out so it's a double win. I also bought some organizers into the refrigerator so I can put a row of my jars for bone broths or whatever I keep in there and I have an easy access to it. I'm learning more about how to preserve the food that we have and now I hopped onto the dehydrating wagon <laughs> and it's very addictive. So I started to dehydrate a bunch of vegetables and I already ordered some device that I, I'm just so anxious to try. I wanna share this with you guys once it's arrived and I tried it, but basically it's, it will seal my jars and it will suck out the air. So let's see if it works. I will share that with you. But I bought a bunch of lemons as well because this was the day when we went to Costco. So we bought a bunch of food. So I was processing those on this day and I wanted to preserve more lemons because guys this is so yummy so we love some good sardines and these lemons is just amazing with that and you only need just some salt and the juice of the lemons and just keep it in the jar in the refrigerator for a few weeks before you start to eat but if you wait a month or two even the skin becomes soft and what can I say? This is one of my favorite now. You, Do you see this grater? Yeah, take a good look at it because this is the last time you're going to see me using it because <laughs> I only used that four times and four times I was able to injure myself with that. And I know I can buy some gloves that goes with that, but I'm not sure how am I able to clean that. So. I'm still on the lookout for a good grader <laughs> that doesn't slice my fingers. I really love this attachment that goes on the top of my jars because I can just store them easily and once I'm done with squeezing the lemons I can just put the lid on the jar and I can store it that way.
until my little gadget arrives I'm just going to use this bag and I'm just going to use it very gently so make sure I don't crush these dried mushrooms but it definitely adds to the shelf life that it's not just dry but also I used an airtight bag I like to use these dried vegetables to create soups and just all sorts of things for fall so it's been a really fun way to preserve vegetables but also it looks very pretty as well. It's too wet, that's what you're saying? We are tackling another project and that is building a compost and we have some friend that is count as a relative his wife is like kind of like a niece to me so sometimes he's around here as well and we are just working on this compost to have it up and running the nasturtium is growing like crazy because of the lots of rain strawberries are growing really nicely so this is how the compost looks like so it's going to have three sections we are obviously working on this one once it's full we're going to move on to the next section and then the third one so we're also going to have some top for that so we are going to be able to close it all the way and it's not done yet but this is the structure as of now and we already started to just work with that <laughs> and then eventually Joat will finish it Thank you guys for clicking on this video and watching until the end and I cannot wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye!